Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Robo back again on another Roll Ghoul video. Now, this video will not have me speaking while I'm playing the game because I was being a nincompoop and I forgot to press the unmute button. Now, when I looked at my mic, it was mute. It was not muted at all. It was perfectly fine. But right there, you can see I have the new form for the Nishiki Kagune right there. I believe it's called Bikaku right there. Now, if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself in the editing process, but that's what it looks like right there. It's pretty cool. The E-move is basically a move where you grab them like that, and it doesn't do that much damage. It's pretty weak, to be honest. But the R move is like that. It's like a stab move into the floor. And then the F move is honestly my favorite one. It's like a spin, but it's really hard to hit hit people with the F move. Now, as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be fighting Sushi Walrus in Rogue Ghoul. Now, this game is a pretty fun game. If you want to play it, link to it is down below. So make sure you play it, guys, okay? Now, when it came to this fight, it was really not that hard to do, guys. When we were playing this game, we were just having fun and stuff like that. Sushi was like, oh, Robo, I'll help you out with everything. He was streaming while we were doing this. And your boy actually fared up pretty well with, against Robo. Sushi did pretty well. But the thing is, Sushi lost t three times and I won. Three times, of course. I lost two times though. Sushi beat me twice and I won three times. Now the second time that Sushi beat me, I have it recorded and I'll put it at the end of the video. But for now, you'll see the first four or four, yeah, first five fights, actually. first four fights. Yeah, first four, four fights. You're gonna see me getting whooped once, then whooping Sushi back to back to back. So I think I beat Sushi the first time with his Kakuja and then Sushi beat me with the next thing and then like so on and so forth. But I'm pretty sure it went like this. I think Sushi whooped me with the Kakuja and then I beat him with everything else because he wasn't using Kakuja anymore or something like that. But it was a pretty fair fight to be honest. The Kakuja was pretty overpowered. It's kind of like supposed to be more powerful than what I have so far. So it makes sense for him to beat me with the Kakuja. So what I recommend doing guys is if you have the Rin Kaku, of course get the Kakuja. It's pretty powerful guys. The Kaku, honestly not that strong. The Rin Kaku is pretty strong though so i would recommend getting the rinkaku if you want to be like kaneki but if you want to be like my boy nishiki make sure you get the bikaku okay or the bikaku i don't know how to pronounce it make sure you get what you guys want to get in order to seem powerful guys okay do what you want now when it came to this fight well, let's see one one second guys when it came to this fight it was really weird because sushi i didn't think it was going to be that good in our last video we fought sushi and he honestly was not that strong but the thing is he was using a ccg weapon so that kind of makes sense in my opinion as to why he wasn't that strong because he has to use Audita armor and stuff like that but soon after that video he actually buffed the Audita armor and made it more powerful so that was a good thing for ccg members if you're a ccg member you should probably try out the Audita armor at max level again and see if it's still powerful now, right there, you can see I lost to Sushi for the first time, but then I thought to myself, you know what? I'm not going to lose again, your boy. We're going to whoop Sushi. So I went right back to it, guys. I went right back to him, and I'm like, yo, Sushi, get ready. You're going to lose. But Sushi did this for me. He decided to downgrade over to different, like, Kagunes and stuff like that in the ring Kaku. That way, it seemed like more of a fair fight in order to test out how it worked. So I had the second stage of the Bikaku, and he had the second stage of the Rin Kaku. So he used the second stage as well. And we fought pretty valiantly. He did pretty freaking good, actually. He did pretty good. But your boy did not want to take an L again. So what I did next is I literally rushed into battle and I charged at Sushi. And I literally did not take any Ls in this fight right here. This fight right here was pretty good. But the next fight after that was the best fight, in my opinion. So I just kept hitting Sushi with the R and the F and the E. Although I was trying out the E to see if I could grab him, but I couldn't do it. So I just kept trying out the F and the R. Now, the F and the R are probably going to get nerfed pretty soon. So what I'd recommend doing is trying it out before it gets nerfed. So try it out guys when you get the time now right here as you can tell we are fighting sushi sushi's using the double kagune double rinkaku basically double tentacles and it's not going so well for him he's not hitting me that much but i am hitting him quite a bit the only move that he's using that can actually hit me is the slap move and the stab moves but the stab moves aren't hitting me that much that's the problem now i wanted to make a video when me just like reacting to the fight and everything like actually in the moment but the thing is of course like i said earlier it did not save. I was muted on accident, and I don't know why I was muted, but it happened. So I hope you guys bear with me with this voiceover. Now, future videos will be coming in the near future. So what I recommend doing is comment down below any ideas you have, because I could get more codes added to the game, but it all depends on you guys. You guys alone will be the ones that decide what's going to be in the game and what's not going to be in the game. So go ahead and choose what you guys should think what should be in the game okay it's your guys's choice choose what you want to choose and it will be added to the game most likely because it's his choice to be honest it'll be pretty cool if you guys chose exactly what you wanted in this game so make sure you comment down below any code ideas or video ideas you have because codes they're pretty repetitive as you can tell right there i beat sushi but comment down below any codes you have because i want to be able to understand exactly what you guys want me to do with this video series on Rogul because I'm going to do a lot more Rogul videos. I'm going to halt a little bit more of the Naruto videos because I don't feel like playing that right now, but Rogul will become more and more active 
in the near future. So get ready for that, everybody. Now, as you can tell right here, Sushi's like, oh boy, I'm coming back, bro. I'm coming back. And I'm like, let's get serious, bro. Let's get serious. Sushi's getting serious. I'm getting serious. As you can tell, he used the four tentacles this time. He's not using the two tentacles anymore. He's like, boy, if this second stage is pretty powerful, we've got to see how powerful the fourth stage or the third stage really is for the Rinkaku. So we went ahead and went through the third stage. And your boy, honestly, I didn't do that bad. I beat Sushi still. I still beat him. I still beat him in the fight. But anyways, if you guys want to be ready for a future code that's coming in the game that I know it's going to be in the game, there's going to be a Midoriya Izuku mask that will be in the game in the near future. That Midoriya Izuku is from Boku no Hero Academia. Deku, basically, his second mask from Season 2, and basically the end of Season 1, or ba yeah, basically Season 2, actually, where you had the metal mask. That mask, I want that to be added to the game, and Sushi might be making it soon to where that will be added to the game, and you guys get to choose exactly what you want added to the game. So make sure you guys comment down below if you want the code or something like that, and he will make it a code that I can advertise on my YouTube channel, so only people that watch my videos can actually get the code. Now, when it comes to the code, I'm not going to post it in the very beginning of the videos like I usually do, because people usually just copy-paste those codes and just steal it and go to their videos and post it in their videos, especially ones that say are sub to Robo and stuff like that. So what I'm probably going to do is when it comes to that video it's probably gonna be in the middle of that video if not like towards the middle or the beginning of the video just not in the very first 10 seconds because I feel like people kind of just like click off after they watch it. I want people to watch the entire video because I try my best I try my best to make a video that you guys can enjoy but it's okay guys no matter what you do choose whatever you want now, as you can tell we beat sushi again so sushi came back and I'm like sushi try harder and he was like you know what robo I'm gonna come back with the same kagune as you and I was like, whoa, chill, brother, okay? Right now, I have two wins. He has one wins. 2-1 at the moment. Your boy caught up pretty well. But the thing is, Sushi's using what I'm using. And he has more training with it because he's been using it for about an hour or two. So I decided to myself, you know what? I got to be able to dodge everything he does. So I decided to go more of a defensive type in this fight instead of an offensive type. Now, I told him, I enticed him by saying, yo, you don't have to heal me. I'll still beat you in the fight. So as you can tell right there, I was dodging quite a bit. I was rushing, then dodging, then rushing, then dodging just to be safe because I didn't want Sushi to hit me with everything he had. Now, what I figured out during the fights, every fight before this fight, I figured out that you could use the F move to bait someone into attacking you because they think you're stuck. Then you use the R move and you hit them with the R move if you aim it right. And when you aim it right, you do a lot of damage with both of those moves because they rush right into your F move. If they don't rush in a little bit late, they will take some damage. So be careful of that, guys. And also with the R move, you can just literally slap them like that and you do a little bit of damage right there. It's pretty cool. You do some damage. I did some damage with the F move and I was really happy that I did. Now, Sushi started running away here because he's like, yo, boy, I'm not going to get two damage. So I'm just hit and run, hit and run, hit and run which was a good idea, going right over me and hitting me with the arm move. It worked once or twice, but I wasn't going to let it happen again, so I kept rushing after him. I, dis I disengaged the defense mode, basically. I went straight into offense, decided, you know what, I ain't going to lose this time. So I rushed towards him, started fighting a little bit more fierce, and I got the kill towards the end. Now, after this fight, when it got a little bit more serious, Sushi started getting really serious. He changed the color of his Kagune to pure black. That's when you know someone's serious, when they change their color of a Kagune to something you would not expect. Now, Sushi went pure black in the next fight scene, and he did pretty well, honestly. He was pretty powerful, guys. Remember, guys, cop the merch. Link is down below. If you want to buy the merch, make sure you get it. Link is down below to the merch. It's pretty fire. It's what I'm wearing right there in the game. So make sure you copy, guys. It's pretty awesome. New merch will be coming out in the future for next month. No new merch will be coming out for this month, I believe, other than maybe pants if I really have the time for it. Because I'm moving at the moment to a different place, basically. I'm moving from college to home but I have to stay at my college town a little bit longer in order to get some stuff resolved. Now, as you can tell, 3-1 right there. We beat Sushi three times. And I decided, you know what, Sushi, let's make it a little bit fair. Let's end it off here. And Sushi's like, no, one more fight for the stream. So I'm going to play you guys the clip of Sushi fighting me on stream, everybody. And I'm also going to make it a little bit faster just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to watch you guys, okay? All right, so right around here is when Sushi started activating his black version of the Kagune that I have the same of, the Nishiki Kagune. Basically, the Bikaku had the second version, and he activated a color change where it was pure black. And I was like, you know what? We got to fight, so let's fight, and we did it. Right now, we have three to one. I'm currently winning no matter what happens. I'll still be the winner of the fight in the series, but we decided to start fighting, and Sushi literally rushed right in. He was like, you know what, Robot? I'm trying right here. Literally hit me once. And I'm like, what the nani? I tried hitting him. Hit me again in just a second right there. Then I'm like, you know what, Sushi? Bro, you're trying way too hard, bro. Chill, chill, chill. But he's like, nah, man. And he decided to hit me yet again with the next attack. And it still somehow damaged me with this one. I think right there. That somehow damaged me, which I didn't understand. Then the next one, I believe, after this one is the one that damaged me again and almost got me killed. I believe I had like one HP towards the end. And I was really close to dying. And I was like, you know what? I got to run a little bit. Got to take some damage. Do some damage. Run a bit. 
But what happened next was I ended up dying and I was like, you know what, Sushi? GG. All right, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe today. Join the Road Bros and also subscribe. Also leave a like. Comment down below any other video ideas you have. Make sure you cop the merch. Link is down below. To then it's Man Robo. I'm signing out now and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.